Hey there, everybody. Welcome in to the next episode. So this one is the series where we are talking about different codes. So today we are going to talk about a combat. Okay. Combat script. Okay. Combat 1.2 and combat 1.3. It's going to be a little bit different. A little bit different. Because combat 1 has absolutely nothing. This is when you finally get combat and you don't really have anything. All you're going to do... I set it to go to the combat. Whatever it finds within its range, it's just going to go. So whatever, whatever it finds within eight, just going to go. Don't even need to have that on there, but I had it on there from before. Your combat 1.2, because this is 1.1. Right over here. This one's going to loop all enemies within 15. Okay? So it's going to start looking for enemies within 15 of it. Okay? So that's going to be the visual range. So if you go to here... You'll see this is 15. Okay, so any enemies within that area, it's going to try to find them and try to attack them. It's going to move to that unit. That's all it's going to do. This one is not very effective. Your units will die like crazy. Due to the fact, it's locked on to one enemy. That's an enemy. So it's going to go attack that. However, things come out of there and start coming over here and are going to attack it the entire way to get there. So that's why we have this one. Okay. We have this. This is going to be version three. So for this one, it's going to wait one tick because I'm unlocking this and making it run as fast as it can possibly go. The green, if I turned it on here, it's going to stay right here because all of this is going so fast. It's not actually even doing anything. Okay. Not even doing anything. I can also turn around and do uh, this and this is what I want to do. That's why I have those. Then what you do is you have a combat leader. So you set your combat leader up. Okay. You play this. It's going to find the combat leader. and It's going to move within five. Of it. Okay. So it's going to look for the combat leader. If it can't find anything here, it's going to come over here. It's going to find the combat leader. It's going to move within five. To move right there where you go. Yeah, it's going to move. If it finds an enemy within 15, it's going to set that and it's going to set the range to eight. And then it's going to move eight away from the enemy. The reason this is so good is it's running at all times. It's continuously running. So if it finds an enemy closer, so like something comes out and it goes here and it's right here, it's going to lock onto this and it's going to start attacking it and it's going to start backing away when the enemies are there. Now, let's see. I take you. Take, you know what? We're going to take all of you guys. Putting you... And you know what? Let's grab the one and two. Let's come on over. So we're going to come over here and we're going to stop right there. It's going to take some things a little bit sooner to get here. Some things a little farther. It's okay. Right, let's get you guys too. We don't want to keep you left. We don't want to make you guys feel out of the group. So we're going to have my lights, my stop lights gone. Well, actually my police lights. Those are going to be gone. Then I got my repair bot. And then I got just another combat bot here. Need, where is he at? Is this one I'm waiting on? Yep, this one is. This one is my combat one. This one I want to be a little bit off separate. All of these are just down here for defense. Okay, they're all down here for defense because what's going to happen? I'm going to set him to come over here. Combat leader, come a little bit closer for me. And then let's grab all you guys. Have you guys come over here? So I want you. One more. There we go. Look at there. Oh, he should be moving. Why is he not moving back? He should be moving back. No! 
So he should be moving back. Oh my god. Are you here? Combat script wasn't even running. We're going to stop it for a minute. We're going to let them respawn a little bit. Okay, and there we go. That is the code we were looking for. So this code right here. I have been testing this now for a little while. Yeah. Okay. This video is very short. But here's what I had to do. It is super complicated because for some reason things weren't working right. So it unlocks. It's then going to scan for an enemy within 15. If it doesn't find one, it's going to come down here. If it finds one, it's going to unlock. It's going to mark a distance from that. It's going to compare it. If it's equal to, it's just going to go all the way back, wait a tick, and then run it all again. If it's larger, it's going to set a number, and then it's going to move to the target. If it is smaller, it's going to set, and it's going to move away. Everything continuously comes back to the tick. Now, if there's nothing, it's going to look for the combat leader. It's going to set the distance from that. It's going to compare that. If it's equal, lesser, or smaller, larger, yes, yeah, equal, smaller, or larger. Wow, I can't read. If it's larger, it's going to then set the distance to five and it moved the unit to it. If it's smaller, it's going to set the unit and it's going to move away from it. I so wish that this would work for both close and far, and that way I wouldn't have to do this whole compare thing to have it move. And if it's, if you do move and you're within range, it doesn't move either. So if you're too close, this doesn't move away. If you're too far, this doesn't move you closer. Neither of them work for it. There used to be, I, I so wish they would have kept it. Move unit range. This one. I wish they would have kept this one. Because this one used to do what both of these are doing for me here. They used to. But they changed it. So it doesn't work anymore. Now, as you can see, he is five away from the combat leader. Which is right here. He is getting healed up by our repair bot. And that is pretty much the combat. That is all of the combat that I got for you guys today. Because we are going to continue to do more with this. Okay, there's going to be version... 1.4, 1.5, stuff like that, but we need to get a few other ones done first. Okay? We need a few other things done first. Like, one, we need to get our combat leader. We need to get a combat leader script going. One that scans for enemies and then moves within 35 of there. Sends a signal to all of these saying, hey, there's an enemy over there, go to it. That is what we need to do next but that is for another video because that one is going to be extremely long and extremely complicated and i don't want to bore you guys so i appreciate you guys all tuning in and we will see you next time